child development is a source of wonder and mystery that has been attracting developmental scientists for centuries. Perception, action and cognition. What kinds of mechanisms allow infants to develop communication with their parents? How have developmental scientists approached that mystery? Basically, observation has been a central approach in developmental science. But outside observation alone is very limited with regard to understanding complex interactions. How about imaging technologies? It seems to be a promising approach. But to actually see the development of the brain, we need better technology to observe it for longer periods and analyze vast amounts of data. OK, how about building a robot that simulates child development? That would open up whole new possibilities for understanding the process. This pneumatic robot, called CB Square, has 52 pliant degrees of freedom, making it capable of flexible, lifelike movements. To make it suitable for physical interactions with humans, it has a full body soft skin and an array of multimodal sensors for visual, auditory and tactile feedback. CB Square is capable of childlike full body motion. Tactile sensors are embedded in its silicon skin and mimic the way infants receive tactile sensations during motion. In other words, CB Square can simulate the very same developmental process that a child goes through when generating a self-body image. Parents assist the motion of their children. Can humans do the same for CB Square? In fact, intimate interaction can be performed thanks to its flexible joints and provides us with quantitative data to analyze what makes the interaction successful. These figures show that it is even possible to measure the degree of synchronization between CB Square's motion and the human caregiver. If both motions are carefully synchronized, as shown by the white curve, the interaction is successful. On the other hand, if the motions are out of sync, the interaction fails. As physical interaction is the simplest form of communication available to human children, it can be used as a good model of the development of higher communication skills. CB Square receives sensory information from stereo cameras and microphones, as well as motion capture systems, and therefore is able to perform multimodal interaction with humans. This allows us to study what kinds of behaviors are effective for getting the attention of humans and how the resulting behavior from the caregiver can encourage the development of communication skills. The mystery of human intelligence and its development has attracted and will continue to attract generations of researchers. The Arato project challenges this mystery using CB Square as a novel platform to reveal new insights.